And I've got a couple far fetched things because. My first item on Vestier. Hello. So, I thought I would do an outfit of the week this week. As I've got some new bits, I haven't done one of these in a while. So, I just thought it'd be good to, and I'm actually leaving the house right now, so. Thought I'd just throw this in there. I did a reel just now. I haven't edited it yet, so I don't know what that's gonna look like. But I will put it in here if it does look good. Um, so yeah, this is the base of my outfit. I've got on this HM tank top, just a basic tank top with these Arquette leggings, which I'm wearing leggings as trousers, yes, but these are sturdy, so I feel like I'm okay. Um, then thrown over this, this is actually a really old um, naked jumper, which I'm just gonna tuck slightly, only because you'll see in a minute. On my feet, if I stir all the way back, I have on these boots. These are literally just some combat boots that I bought from TK Maxx one day when I was wearing my Paris, my yellow snake Paris Texas boots out into London. I walked too much and my feet were just killing me. So I ran into TK Maxx, grabbed these. I actually really like them. They're obviously quite reminiscent of the um, Prada boots, but quite a fan. Um, and then over the top, I'm gonna chuck on. Oh, I'm also wearing the Josephine Collection naked hats. I'm in quite a lot of naked today. And then over the top, I'm throwing on the naked bomber. And because I'm running, and this is why I've tucked it, just so it sits underneath the um, elastic of the bomber, because otherwise it looks a bit strange. Let's just hang out there. I mean, that actually doesn't look too bad. If it's open, it's okay, but if I plan on doing it up, I feel like it needs to be under there, which it will just keep it inside anyway. And then, because I am running errands, and I've got stuff to get and stuff to take, I'm taking my Antonella tote bag. Okay, I'm back from the nail shop, and I've got a couple far-fetched things because I've been building up some credit. So, I wanted to show you, that will be very successful. what I got. So the first thing is, oh there's so much for this stuff. Okay, so um, as you know, I got these candles from Selfridges from Hay and I needed some candle holders and Farfetch also sell Hay. So they come in these Cute little dust bags, I don't know whether that's far fetch or hay. But I got this gorgeous one. Which is like a really light pink glass with darker red rimming around it. Try one of the candles in there. How cute! I love that. Okay, let's open the next one. This one, we have a few more items. I'm a little bit more excited about this one. So we have, oh yeah. I know I have the boys' new era hat, but I quite like this one, which is a little bit more vintage looking do you like that i like it cute easy to wear i've got more of these little dust bag things which is good they're gonna be candy and then a couple of the other things we got are oh, a lot more bubble wrap i got this set of two And they're just a simple oh it's 
so heavy and sturdy, which I love. Set of two of these. If I put the candles in them, let's show you guys. Let's do one of the lighter blue ones. Super cute. And then a pink one. I love this. So I'm going to put those up on our shelves downstairs in the living room and show you guys. Then I also got, I believe also from Hay, I'm a mug fan, which we don't have many of. And I love a glass mug recently. So I got these, which I thought were beautiful. Two, and they're a bit bigger than the ones I already have so it's grey glass and then a pink handle which I really love those are very pretty so I'm going to put those in the kitchen see lighting isn't it our dining room lighting is very like overhead i'm going to make the orange wreath for the tree because we're meaning to do it and the tree isn't going to go up otherwise because you little monster uh he just will terrorize it i just know it so we're gonna hopefully see if this works Milk crust. Sitting in silence, we still feel the vibe, but you could not say a word, and I know what you just decided. We'd be right in the same way. Oh, what is perfect? The heat is rising, the time is not even my favorite. Yeah. 
to get my nails done and then I've got a couple errands to do at the post office and stuff like that. I've got my Silvercon products on, my new Fourth and Reckless um, sweatpants, the flared ones, because I'm also getting pedicure, so these are easy to roll up. I would just wear flip flops, but it's way too cold. This top is just from, um, I think it's Brandy Melville. I'm going to throw on this really old cream Zara jumper. I'm going to wear, thankfully it's not raining, so I'm going to wear my cream trench coat. I'm going to tie it at the back so that it doesn't bother me. And also throw on my Arquette boucle bucket hat. And I am good to go. This is the outfit. And everything is going to go in my pockets and I need to run. See you later. <laughs> Unboxing a couple things that apparently I'm an impulsive shopper these days. I'll do the bag first because I'm assuming that's what people want to see. I bought my first item on Vestier actually. It's just a buy far bag. It's nothing like huge designer or anything. And I'm getting cool. Hello? They call me, I say I'm busy, they hang up on me. Interesting. Oh, so I was gonna tell you about the cats in here, by the way, fussing around, but we're trying to train him, well, I'm trying to train him to not wee, be able to be in this room and not wee on the bed, so. Look at that, who's that? So, I wanted him in here, but we'll see how long it lasts because he is a, uh, a curious cat, as the name goes. I ordered this on Vestier and it was, oh no. I ordered it on the 10th, so I purchased it on the 10th. Today's the 13th. Um, so it came incredibly quick. It came from France. And if I just try and find the actual listing, they put it up for 256. 75 and I bid 187 and it got accepted so I got a good save there and I know it was a lot more when it was being sold I don't think this bag is being sold anymore but I thought it was a nice nude color here we go I thought it was a nice nude color that will kind of go with everything and it's got let's just open it and show you guys shall we <laughs> There's something for you to play with. Smaller than I expected, but, oh, and it's grayer than I expected. So it's in this like mauve, purpley gray tone with gold hardware, which I love. And I don't have this kind of size shoulder bag. So I thought it would be gray. Oh, we've got all the, what's this? That's just to keep it. I think that's just to keep it structurally okay. So that's all the padding, and then, then this here just tells you the buy fast stuff. So the style is the Marinda, and it's 100% leather and 100% cotton. We have someone fussing down here. 100% cotton lining. I really like it. There's not really much to say about it. It's just a simple shoulder bag. Um, been a bit impulsive recently. There's a couple other by far bags actually I quite like. It's a trendy brand that you can sort of purchase into, which you know is going to be quality and look nice, but um, you don't have to invest like super amounts of money in. And that's actually a really good size. Now, P 
he's fussing over the other purchase I made, which is just something really small. I saw, I'm gonna mention her again, Georgina Lennon, do a little reels video, and she wore these shorts, which I really like. So I wanted to try them, because I don't own a pair. I thought it would be quite good for some winter outfits. I am so sorry for all of this noise, if you can hear it. But it's just a pair of black leather shorts. Hopefully they'll fit me nicely. I got in a size 10. They're six pounds. They're like gathered at the waist and hopefully they won't hug me on my thigh. That's what um, she in particular said. I think she sized up because she didn't want that, which is n what I don't want either. So I'm gonna try those guys on and show you also. But I've now made a mess out of this guy. Hello. <laughs> What are you doing? Yep, that's your own tail. So yeah, I'm quite happy with those purchases. Those are the two things that I got recently. And um, I actually still need to put up the tree. I did make the orange slices things. I'll show you. They did get a little bit burnt. I'll explain later. Um, but we need to put up the tree. It's already the 13th of December, which is ridiculous, so. That needs to be done. I know there's a fair bit of mess behind me, I'm sorry, but I just popped on the shorts and they're exactly what I wanted. So I'm glad there's no hardware on the outside. They suck in at the waist and they go out at the thigh. So they don't hug me at all, which is perfect. Glad I got these, I can wear some. Sorry, am I, um, am I disturbing you? But yeah, I like these. Even goes well with this top. Throw a coat on or something. I'm a fan. Very nice. Go River Island. Just wanted to show you guys for size reference as well. The bag on the body properly. There it is. Really cute, great colour. Probably wouldn't wear these two together because they're both textured. Well, this is real leather. These are obviously not real leather, but they're both textured leather and a bit shiny. So I'm not sure they're one stir together, but I really like the size. Perfect. Either little day bag, it can even carry it into the evening. And um, sits really nicely on the shoulder. So I like that. Okay, can we see me? Another outfit of the day. I just quickly got dressed. I'm wearing these black for some reckless trousers that you guys would have seen. This is a really old H&M jacket. These, this, um, sorry, jumper. Grey like turtleneck jumper. It's wide on the neck. As you guys know, I don't like a turtleneck, but it's super wide, so it's nice and comfortable. The jacket is from Naked, nice and puffy. I've tucked the jumper into the trousers. As there are 12, I have room to do that, which is lovely. And then I'm just wearing my simple old Reeboks, which are quite dirty now, but it's easy to throw on. And then you would have seen this bag recently. And I feel like a shoulder bag is quite casual, but also, because I'm wearing suit trousers, it's like, Mixing it up a bit, you know? So, yeah. Quite like this. I feel like because the jacket's cropped and puffer, like it's casual and gives me a bit of shape because everything is quite baggy. So if we see the full outfit. And if you want to see something even cuter, you look at this guy. You're so beautiful. You are so beautiful. 